we are going to go very deep into graphs but how do we go deep into graphs so what i'll do today i will take a very basic graph y is equal to x square which all of you know all of you know that y equal to x square ka graph is like this right this is the graph of y equal to x square i will help you play with it i will tell you lots of transformations of this graph i will tell you how you can you know move this graph up down left right stretch this where anywhere right and how do you plot the graph which all of you know so let's begin so this is the graph which we know y equal to x square right now let's do our first set of transformation what is the transformation if y is a function of x that's how you read it right for the ones who are in 11th we read this as y is a function of x which is x square now i am doing a transformation where i'm going to transform this function by adding something to it for example if i write f of x which is x square plus 2 what 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 will you get you get y is equal to x square plus 2 so we'll learn how its graph will behave and we'll also learn how this graph will behave theek hai cool so this is the transformation adding or subtracting something in fx f of x function of x so let's learn it live with a graph theek hai so what do we have all of you can see this is the graph of y equal to x square which we plotted which we already saw earlier this this shape is what we call as parabolic shape we call this shape as quadratic or parabolic shape right now i am going to transform it how by adding a to it when i add an a if that a so when this a is zero you have this graph y equal to x square if you increase the a do you see the graph goes up for example if i do x square plus 2 see the graph went up a long y axis the exact same graph is sort of moving up if you are adding something with x square so that is what we call as vertical transformation see if i now subtract something if i want to subtract something let me take negative value of a see the graph will go down x square minus 2 see it has gone below by 2 by units 2 further below x square minus 4 x square minus 2 x square exactly there itself x square plus 2 right and x square plus 4 so that is how the graph transforms and what do we call it we call it graph transformation what type of transformation vertical transformation okay so look at this let me summarize it for you our original graph was y is equal to x square the red one theek hai this here which has shifted up is x square plus 2 it has gone up by how much 2 units and which is this blue one it is x square minus 2 it has gone below by 2 so this is y is equal to x square minus 2 theek hai and what do we call it vertical transformation very simple case nothing special here we will learn its application in very soon so whenever you add something to function it vertically transforms it moves along y axis up and down cool so with this in your mind theek hai you can also look at this animation theek hai so just look here that is how the graph is transforming this is exactly what i showed you theek x square minus 2 x square minus 1 x square x square plus 1 x square plus 2 x square plus 3 up and down vertically up vertically down cool ye to clear i'm pretty sure this is clear